big. Oh, it's like a big haze back there. Ah, uh, filming live from a third story one bedroom apartment in North Mishawaka, Indiana. The Prince of City, cursed by geese. It's the handlebar growing mustache extravaganza with your host, Dave. Handlebar mustache show, handlebar mustache show. Stash is looking great, but we can't be late for the handlebar mustache show. Welcome back to your six day 68 take two, Grants Forever edition. Well, ah, uh, Fat, is that you? Ah, uh, Clay, what's going on? Well, they say, Dave, why are you bartendering when you got a big college degree? And I said, well, I like to chit-chat with the chit-chatters. And you never know what they're going to chit-chat about. So it's mm, entertaining and stimulating. Like you, you're I always like going to talk about... They say, man, what are you doing here? They always say, oh, fat. All you talk about is eating and making delicious food. But I know there's more to you than that, fat. Yeah. So, that's nice. I got a call back from the mortgage lady. I just got to call her on Monday. I've heard many different things, so I'll be curious to see what she says. But I have to go splunking in Cousin Dan's apartment. Try to find the right things he wants. So we might start early on that. It's pretty small. Maybe I'll stay up at 1030 when I take my pills and get my day started then. So that's good. Oh, that Fat, is that you? Are you making a big meal tomorrow, Fat? No, no, no. I said, is that tomorrow when you're going to... Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sneak into his apartment. I've got the key, so it's not really that sneaky. Uh, just right, just right. Yeah. So, anyway, the Notre Dame's graduating tomorrow. Uh oh It's good to see them graduate. I guess Mike Pence was in town. There were a couple air traffic controllers at the bar tonight. Hmm. Yeah, I, think. I think one of them was driving. The other one was getting pretty. You can always tell when drunk people start drinking heavy. They whisper half the time and then they shout half the time. Oh. And sometimes they <laughs> shout the things they meant to whisper. They get all confused. Yeah. And that's when you have to say, listen, pal, this is a family place. They can't whisper that stuff so loud. That's right. Not so loud. As all everybody can hear. So that didn't happen tonight, but it's happened in the past. Even people who are seasoned drinkers do it. Yep. Caught up in the moment. Yeah, and then they start talking about politics and religion and sports. Uh, Next thing you know, they're fisticuffs. That's where I have to step in and say, listen, pal. We can talk about this, that, and the other thing, but not what you want to talk about. Yeah. So, I met a farmer today that grows, he rents bees. He, like, gets the bees from his buddy, and he pays the buddy the money for the bees and then the buddy gets gets to keep the honey mm. what do you think about that so if I get my network out I wouldn't need my own backyard to have the bees except in a trans transitory state like between jobs they might want to hang out they also want to mention when was the last time you got stung by a bee and what happened. So I better make sure I'm not allergic. Yeah. I'm not sure how they do that. I guess they just sting you with a bee and see what happens. Do you keep your EpiPen with you, Franny? I have one. 
Oh. Well, what good you gonna do if you don't have one? Well, I haven't been <laughs> hanging around bees lately. Oh, you never know when I see one. I know, but I'm careful. They don't bother you if you don't bother them most of the time. That's what I saw, thought about Fran. Until we started dating. <laughs> uh, oh, I kid, I kid. Oh, I'm in trouble now. I was doing so good that I just kept on talking. So I probably said too much. Knock on wood. Keep it classy in the web. And until I see you, my lunes, I bid you all a river and a do. Ah, oh, that was nice. Ah, uh, Fred.